We're back with the Fender Parallel Universe. And Jonathan, that was, I always love watching Jonathan play. It's just fun. I get to, you know, I get to watch him play. It makes you feel good about yourself. <laughs> no, I mean, I wasn't going to say that. I mean, but it does a little bit. No, I'm kidding. No, it's just really fun to watch. I think Jonathan's really good, so it's fun. Um, this is the this one's another one of the Fender Parallel Universe. The Fender Telecaster Deluxe Thin Line. I'm gonna keep adding more titles to it. Super fantastical, super catchy, fantastic. It's it's an it's an awesome guitar. So pretty much what this is, we took a Thin Line Tele. They, they took a Thin Line. We didn't build this. We just get to sell it and play them, which is awesome. Thin Line Tele. They put an awesome pick guard on it. Because they had to do this like silver sparkle pick guard, which has a plastic cover, but it's really cool looking in person. And put some nice TV Jones in it, and put a pretty standard control scheme, yeah. or so I thought. Because I was playing it, and I, and I almost called Fender. Because when we first got it, I was like, something's not right. Because I kept messing with this tone knob here. It's not a normal tone knob. It's a bass cut. So every time I kept cutting it, I was like, why does it sound more trebly? <laughs> I just thought there's this must be wired wrong. <laughs> so right. I had to get into my like you know my spec sheets and. And um, it's it's a bass cut, so it's really cool because it's. And I was like, why would they do that? Well, it's it's a Gretsch guitar and a Fender. I've had like a strange yeah. baby, right? Um, and so what it does, it it lets you stand on top of the mix a bit more. So you're playing lead lines, clean in particular, doing some of those jazzy, rockabilly, funky things. Maybe a slight bit of dirt. We're using a lot of dirt right now because we're having fun, and it's the, the parallel universes. But um. It's, it's cool. It helps you stand. I, I always think of a Gretsch sitting on top of the mix. Absolutely. Whereas a Fender and a Gibson kind of sit within the mix. And a Gretsch just it does its own thing. It's like that fabulous evening gown that you don't wear every day, but when you want it, it's the only thing that gets the job done. And Tell me about got, it. It's got that vibe for sure. Even the orange is kind of like a little nod to, to the Gretsch. I, I mean, like. yeah, the or it's obnoxious yeah. for sure. Like if, if it doesn't show up on camera in person, this is a bright guitar. I will say all the pictures I saw of this before we got it, mm -hmm. I don't feel like it, it comes across great. Agreed. It, when you see it in person, you're like, wow, that looks really, th there's a classiness that you miss in the pictures. So you've played it. Tell us about how it plays. It actually, it feels really good. It does not feel like a telly. It doesn't really feel like a... Uh, so Fender, you've nailed it. These <laughs> guitars don't it's feel like totally, the, totally it's parallel. parallel. Uh, the binding is really... I mean, the neck is really comfortable. It is the satin kind of deal, which is great. So it's not sticky at all, you know? So it's a fast neck. Um, it's odd because it is foreign, but it's familiar at the same time. I know that makes no sense. Um, you know, I play it thin line. I was going to make a times. reference to my wife about that, but then I Is just going, no, no, that? no, we can't. Don't Continue. forget that happened. No, <laughs> no. But, but yeah, I play it thin line a lot, and, and so that's a familiar... You do play a thin line. Uh, I don't even think of it. You have the red sparkle one, right? Yeah. That, that thing's really cool. So, but, um, no, this is really good. It's light. The binding is awesome. Um, it just plays good. The TV Jones are cool. It's just a different thing than you expect from, from picking up a Fender most of the time. There's like it, an extra it's, like, it's like that carbonita yeah. type thing. Yeah. It's um, it's it has it has a punch to it, and it, it handles does. gain really well and differently, which I appreciate because I, I do have a lot of guitars personally, and I keep getting more, and my patient family doesn't seem to mind that. And like this, this is one of those odd. If I wanted something that's that I, completely other, this is it. This is this is a good one. Did we mention it's orange? It also it's different, but it's also you can tell it's just the quality you will build the yeah. instrument. Because sometimes you know you get a guitar that's a little different. It's eh, it's okay, and you play it and you get tired of it. I don't think that would be the case with this. I think you the you Firebird play this. X. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's it. Needs a <laughs> Parallel universe. Check it. Fender Super Deluxe Thin Line Tele. Check us out. Subscribe. All that stuff. Be well.